Devon and Cornwall Police have apologised for failings in their firearms checks after returning Jake Davidson's gun and licence to him before he went on to shoot and kill five people and injure two others before turning the gun on himself in August 2021. One of those he killed was his own mother, which is believed to have been the first of his victims that day after they had had an argument. 22-year-old Davidson was said to have been obsessed with guns and the United States and was even referred to the counter-terrorism programme called PREVENT by his mother in 2016. Now, even though he was referred to the counter-terrorism programme in 2016, in 2018, Devon and Cornwall Police approved his licence renewal and gave him his weapon back, which was a shotgun. Devon and Cornwall Police have been said, following an IOPC investigation into the failure to keep the gun out of Davidson's hands, that they had allowed gun owners to keep their weapons when their permits have expired. Now, I know that many of you believe that we should be more like the USA and that we have a right to defend ourselves, which I agree with. But regardless of that respect, the law currently states otherwise. And when a permit expires, then that person should not have access to a gun until their permit is renewed. In Davidson's case, he had also had recent dealings with mental health services in May 2021. But Devon and Cornwall Police still decided to give him his gun back and renew his permit just weeks before he carried out his attacks. He also had his gun license taken off him in September the same year after he was accused of assault. But again, Devon and Cornwall Police still decided to give his gun back and renew his permit. After the incident, Pretty Patel demanded answers from Devon and Cornwall Police into the failings which led to the tragedy. Patel said before the police apology, following the tragic shooting in Plymouth last year, I asked all police forces across the country urgently to review their firearms licensing practices. I also published updated guidance that police are required to follow by law, which makes clear that a firearms license, including a renewal, cannot be granted until police have reviewed information from a suitably qualified doctor regarding the applicant's medical history. I expect vigilant and timely checks on firearms licenses to remain a priority, and I've asked Devon and Cornwall Police for an urgent update. However, it appears that even though this incident happened, even though there were laws in place that govern the permitting of firearms licenses, shotgun owners like Davidson are still being sent extensions to their permit without being checked by police. One shotgun owner is said to have received a letter from police which said, I am writing to advise you that it will not be possible to decide your application before your certificate expires. Your certificate will now continue in force for a further period of eight weeks after it's due to expire. The man who received the letter said he was told, don't worry, it's not as if we're going to come out and arrest you or anything. A farmer in Cornwall sent his renewal application in February and has since been told that they've lost the paperwork and he must reapply. He still has his shotgun when the police should have been out to take it and look after it until his renewal. Devon and Cornwall Police said, we've identified an issue within our licensing system which has led to a number of certificates having expired and not being renewed. The force are undertaking an urgent review of all licenses as a matter of priority to identify any cases where licenses have expired and to ensure a renewal is issued if appropriate. We apologise for this error and we are rectifying this as a matter of urgency. Now it's amazing really when you think of the amount of guns on the streets which police so adamantly declare they are trying to deal with and remove, they can so blatantly overlook the people they actually know have guns. I do find myself wondering if the police firearms officers go through the same alleged rigorous processes the members of the public are supposed to go through such as the medical checks and mental health checks uh, and the regular uh, renewal of their license i mean i reckon they might get one when they start but based on the number of firearms police that have been brought to our attention 
over the past year, I find it hard to believe that they even bother checking on their own. The fact that even after this tragedy, Devon and Cornwall Police are still not checking people properly and extending people's permits with zero checks is utterly incredible. Now, as I said earlier, I, I understand that many of you think that we should be like the USA and we should be allowed to defend ourselves and, and you know, carry firearms or guns or whatever it is you, you might want to carry. But unfortunately, we have to do what's based, you know, we have to go on what the law says, unfortunately, and the law currently says, no, we can't do that. And so when we have to follow a law, so does the police, but the police are failing to do so. But of course, they break the law. As Pretty Patel said, it's in law that they have to carry out these checks. Police have broken the law, but of course, they won't get punished for it. 